but what we're gonna do next is see if we can get that big old pile up from up on the hill down the bobsled run driveway up the gully and into the dumpster without dumping it all over We'll know just as soon as we tip it, it's going to happen. Oh, I'm cheating, going backwards. All right, so in the earlier video, what I said is sometimes I'll use gravity in my favor, get down to the bottom of the gully, spin, so then I'm using gravity in my favor up the hill as well when I got a super tippy load. And this one was probably the tippiest yet with that big door extending way out in the bucket. But what I'm doing is using the back lip of the bucket to hook everything. So I want to clean out as much stuff as I possibly can. A couple videos back, we started to just go through this, but we never fully cleaned everything out. So I'm just going to start grabbing some stuff out of here and make it gone. They're not actual tiles, like a full set of tiles. It's like these weird samples so it's like ice blue beige so there's nothing for me to actually be able to use here so they gotta go something I could have fixed the panes I could have repurposed them and I know this because the cabin across the lake that I own that I explained in my earlier video every window in that cabin I pulled out of some other house that I was demolishing every window was saved and reused in fact everything that's in the cabin across the lake literally every door the wall boards everything was salvaged 
slowly but surely getting there, you guys. Problem is, the trailer's pert near full. Could be interesting where this is gonna go. Hopefully it's a bit too high. Okay, so now um, what I'm doing is I'm trying to get the pile as concise right here as I possibly can so that I can throw a tarp over the top of it because I've got a plan to bring four 40 yard dumpsters in because if you look in the background, you'll see a mobile home back there. I want to go in and start cleaning that up. you guys I've been giving myself a treat of this dark blend coffee they have a vanilla coffee with coke these are awesome this one is better this one is like liquid gold I just wanted to show you the other one because some of you guys have tried it and uh, one of the things that if you've tried this and liked it the next thing is I'm gonna challenge you guys to make your own chocolate coke and let me know what you think of it one of my favorite drinks growing up was we would take Coca-Cola and just pour chocolate sauce in it and swirl it up and you just keep tasting it till you got it right to that sweet point. And at first you're like, ew, but then it starts to get addictive and it's really awesome. My mouth is starting to water right now just thinking about it.
love this Texas Pride trailer. Oh, our Sure Trek trailer is good too. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know why I just really like this trailer. I just hmm, don't know. I think it's just a sharp looking trailer, I guess. There you guys. I want to show you something that I think is pretty cool. I was on the hunt for the ultimate winter boot. Not necessarily a steel toe, because that's these aren't. They have what's called a BOA system on them. You pop these out, pull them forward, and you're out of your boot that fast. And then when you want to put your boot back on, plop them in, push your button in. These are made by Irish Setter and they're called Ice Trekkers. I paid $249 for them and got them at the Red Wing store. But I think you can also get them at Fleet Farm or maybe their website. I don't know. But my feet love these boots. They're 1,600 grams and at first I wasn't going to buy them because who the heck is going to buy a 1,600 gram boot, right? I figured it was going to be heavy and bulky. Not at all. These things are light and comfortable. They're like wearing slippers. I mean, they're more comfortable to wear than to go barefoot. Not joking. Just to be clear, that's not a paid promotion. I just like those boots. Irish Setter, those guys don't even, they won't even talk to me. But I found the boots and man, if you guys know good boots, please share them down below. And they got this scent ban technology. So they're really designed for hunters. But I flippin' love them. All right, let's get back to our job. All right, let's take a hike. Somehow I gotta get that truck and trailer back through here. Looks like Alex has plowed it out using the mini loader. But these are completely blind corners. With that truck, there's no way I'm gonna be able to see my way back through here. But there's no snow, so that kind of means that I'm supposed to try. And here's Frankie's big scrap pile. It's scraptastic. All right. Well, let's try to get back here. All right. Well, this is actually Frankie's scrap. So let's go dump it where Frankie dumps most of his scrap on one of my other properties. Yeah, believe it or not, I actually was laying in bed the other night and I realized Frankie, ha I own I own four properties, and Frankie has scrap piles on all four properties. So we're going to make that three properties. That's the truth. Oh, I love Frankie like a brother, though. He's an awesome, awesome dude. And I grew up... This is the way we grew up. It was just, so it wasn't weird to me. It was not weird. I was just like, I actually kind of felt comfortable again. And I wasn't the one doing it, but it was being done. And I was just kind of like, kind of like a, a familiar feeling. Do you know what I mean? So I just let it happen. And then I just kind of got a bug up on my butt and I'm like, you know, uh, I kind of want to clean up some of my properties.
got a question for you guys. I don't know what these things are. My uncle says they're floating dock sections. I don't know if that's true or not. What do you think this thing is? This is a floating dock. I'm not getting rid of that. Completely sealed. It must be a floating dock. Dang. Score! Got a decent oven, but it's in the wrong spot. So we're gonna get rid of that. guys we got all the scrap cleaned up everything looks pretty decent let's do a quick no let's not do a quick walkthrough we're not done you yet i want to get these trees knocked down here these are these are invasive trees they weren't planted they're not supposed to be here so let's clean some of this up two three four Five, six, six. When they're cold, it's super cold out, they pop. You hit them real close and hard and fast. That is so fun. That's satisfying. Come on. So take a look at that cabin, you guys. I was thinking about using a forestry mulcher on it. What do you think? I mentioned it in the video earlier. What do you think? We should do it?
propane tank. Those are not the tracks that came with the cat. Those are uh, actually from Summit Supply and I switched them up for an all season track. Bound to happen, I guess. Still working. Ran her right over. Look at that. Still working. Holy crap. Battery still good. Everything else. Well, I guess they can throw this tripod in with Frankie's scrap pile. What's your favorite camera angle? This top down, do you guys like this? Or do you have like, do you prefer to be in the cab or on the outside of the machine? I, I don't know about the inside of the cab thing. You guys let me know if you like that or where you want the, the only reason I say I don't know about the inside of the cab because I feel like it doesn't show you as much of the action. So what I like to do is the top down and then just kind of talk you through what's happening. Um, but you guys tell me, where, where would you want to see the camera at? guys I got enough stuff cleared out I can walk around a little bit 
Sunlight's gonna be going down. I wanna get that load of uh, recyclables over to uh, Frankie, the scrap. I did find one more scrap piece here. satellite dish so let's go get that dropped off before it gets dark on us because backing in where we got to go is not going to be easy I love backing in tight places I don't know why I just love trying I love it I've got some weird addiction See, I could have made it, but my front plow caught on, was gonna catch on that tree. And compensate for that. That was a total screw up right there. And then boom, got it right in the spot I wanted it. So I had three screw ups. See, I didn't have to back down this driveway. Just thought it was fun. I back in all my parking spots too. It drives people crazy, but my wife is so used to it, she's just like, he's got a thing. He's got a thing. I flew the drone down the river. So that's my property on the left, and this is the river that butts up to it. This was so cool. Watch the trailer. It's not hooked. It's not hooked. This freaks Alex out. He's always so paranoid about this. But the first trailers we ever used were tilt deck trailers, right? And so when you don't have your dump trailer chained, it becomes a tilt deck. And if you grew up loading tilt decks, you don't really give a crap. But Alex isn't familiar with it which makes it way more fun. Two, three, four, five, six. Windows open, seven. Close the windows. Now I know the machine well enough to know that I can drive it straight on forward. Should I back it on if you're not comfortable with the machine? Yeah, but I'm comfy. It's my little baby. And at this point, I wanna see, I screwed that up inside the cab. I'm like, ooh, can I just kiss it back down onto the trailer? And I didn't. Because that's where you get, when you get real good with a tilt deck, you get it up there, you get the machine right up there and you kind of float and you get that real floaty, cool feeling going forward and backward and you just go, I just, I want to be able to just gently waft it down and bam, I screwed that up. And that 
that's our video for today. Uh, <laughs> I know it kind of ended abruptly. We got some really cool stuff coming down the pipeline. We got a telescoping, articulating Italian loader. And I'm not going to say that fast five times. And check it out. What do you guys think about the LMN Monster Banner? It's no longer invisible. These guys sponsor the channel. And we've got the wall over here. This wall. This is the Dirt Monkey wall. These guys give 10 to 15% off to all of you guys. Ballard products on top, CMP attachments, Kudra Yardware, and top-notch equipment. If you visit their websites, everything. Everything. It's amazing. So that's what we've got. Hope you guys enjoyed today's show. God bless. Go get them. If you guys could hit the like button and if uh, hit that bell notification, and sometimes it doesn't work, so you got to sometimes just double check anyway. It's supposed to notify you when I pop a new video up, but <coughs> some people say it doesn't always work. So, c'est la vie. That's all I got. Hope you guys have an awesome week or weekend, whatever's coming up next for you. Have, I need some water. I need some frut water. Fresh strawberry. Mm. I bet there's nothing fresh about this. Let's see what's got in it. Water, natural flavor, citric acid, sodium citrate. That doesn't sound right. Sucralose. What is that? Sodium hexametaphosphate. That doesn't sound like water. Potassium sorbate. Isn't that like... And sodium benzenite to protect flavor. That does not sound natural strawberry. Huh. Hmm. I think I'm going back to my spin drift.